welcome you all to part uh, 7 of the chapter dual nature of radiation and matter this session will be on how davison and germer confirmed wave nature of electrons waves undergo properties like interference and diffraction in order to prove electrons as waves electrons must also undergo properties like interference and diffraction in this experiment we will be seeing that electrons undergo diffraction when they are incident on the nickel crystal the next question arises here is why nickel crystal let us check it out for diffraction to take place the size of the obstacle must be comparable with the wavelength of the wave from de broglie's hypothesis it was found that wavelength of the electron was found to be 0.1 nanometer which was half of the distance between two nickel atoms since the distance between two nickel atoms was comparable with the wavelength of the electron thus electron undergo diffraction when they are incident on the nickel crystal the experimental setup consists of electron gun made up of tungsten filament coated by barium oxide as work function of barium oxide is very low less amount of heat is required to remove the electron this is the reason why barium oxide is coat coated on tungsten filament when this electron gun is heated by a low tension battery for example 6 volts the electrons are emitted from the electron gun like bullets and these emitted electrons are accelerated with the help of high tension battery and these accelerated electrons are passed through a cylinder with a small hole and made to fall on the nickel target the electrons are scattered in all directions by the atoms of the crystal a movable detector with a galvanometer is moved on a circular scale to detect intensity of scattered electrons means to detect number of scattered electrons at different scattering angles this experiment was performed by varying accelerating voltage from 44 volts to 68 volts means we are giving this voltage to accelerate the electrons and in this experiment was performed by varying accelerating voltage from 44 volts to 68 volts at a particular exhibiting voltage surprisingly more number of electrons were scattered at some angles and less number of electrons were scattered in some other angles that is why the graph was plotted between intensity of scattered electron versus scattering angle a strong peak was observed in the intensity of scattered electrons at accelerating voltage 54 volts and scattering angle 50 degrees and this peak was observed due to constructive interference of scattered electrons from the different layers of atoms of nickel crystal from electron diffraction measurements wavelength of matter waves was found to be 0.165 nanometer so this is the experimental value of wavelength of matter wave now let us move on to the theoretical from de broglie's hypothesis the wavelength of matter wave is given by lambda is equal to 1.227 divided by square root of v and it is in nanometer v is accelerating potential and what is the accelerating potential 54 volts let us substitute in that equation 1.227 divided by square root of 54 it came to be 0 0.167 nanometer if we compare the experimental value and the theoretical value they are nearly same means the experimental value is in good agreement with the theoretical value thus we can conclude that Davison and German experiment confirmed the wave nature of electrons thank you